So the last exercise conducted a one sample hypothesis test for a proportion. Well, you can also do a two sample hypothesis test for a proportion. And that's what this video will show. So in this case, we want to compare the proportions of individuals of a certain characteristic in population one and in population two. And so as an example, P1 and P2 might represent successful outcomes in two different treatment groups. And so how might that look? Well, we have two different populations. We have two different parameters, P1 and P2. We have two different statistics, P1 hat and P2 hat. And we might even have two different sample sizes. And so very similar to uh, the two sample hypothesis tests using the t-test, we need to understand the properties of the population standard deviation to say something about the differences between these two populations if they're proportions. And so when the data come from two different random samples or two different groups in a randomized experiment, we can approximate uh, the values P1 minus P2 with P1 hat minus P2 hat. And so here's how that might look. And so here we have the values of the differences between these two sample proportions, and we end up with a sampling distribution of those differences. So we have a mean value, we have the sampling distribution, and the standard deviation, we're simply going to sum up. Uh, think about when we looked at pooling the standard deviations. That's kind of what we're doing here. We have uh, the standard deviation for population one, and then the standard deviation for population two. Uh, and we're kind of going to kind of combine them to find the, uh, the standard deviation for this hypothesis test for a difference between proportions. And so just like we can do a hypothesis test, we also might be interested in doing a confidence interval. And so here, uh, remember I said kind of that idea of pooling the standard deviations, that's exactly what we'll need to do to find the standard deviations for the difference. Uh, we know what the population or, or what the uh, parameters are for the first. We know what the parameters are for the second. We can calculate then what the standard deviation of the difference is. We don't know the values of the parameters P1 and P2. Again, we replace them with P1 hat and P2 hat to get the standard error of those uh, differences in those proportions. So here's an example confidence interval for comparing proportions. Uh, we can use the Z table again, uh, going back to looking at the difference between P1 and P2, or P1 hat and P2 hat. Uh, we're going to look at the difference, and that's going to be uh, plus or minus. Remember, we're looking at an interval. We need a lower value. We need an upper value. Uh, we're going to find our value Z star from the Z table. And again, this is the standard error of the difference between the two different uh, populations. And so what we might think about is we can set our, then our null hypothesis equal to uh, well, P1 is equal to P2. Well, that might say that we think the population 1 proportion is the same as the population 2 proportion. So if this is true, then we might think that there's no difference between them. Uh, and so we think the difference might be 0. And so now we need a way to estimate P so we can combine the data from the two samples. Well, we can think about a pooled approach for the sample proportion where we take p hat equal to the count of successes in both samples divided by the count of individuals in both samples combined. So successes divided by all total possibilities. Uh, you can think about it as that way. And so the, again, this hypothesis test is going to let us decide whether or not um, we will accept the null or fail to reject the null hypothesis. And again, it all depends on how we set up our null hypothesis. We could set up a right-tailed test uh, where we might think about our alternative hypothesis being that the two proportions are greater than zero. The difference between the two proportions are greater than zero, I should say. The difference in proportions could be less than zero, or the difference in proportions can simply be not equal to zero. And it might occur on either the left or the, the right side. And so after we find that pooled sample proportion, we can then calculate the test statistic. Uh, and then we can compare this to a value we might find in our 
Z table uh, to say something about this hypothesis test for comparing two proportions.